of good life, the dream life, it's full of awesomeness. But it is also full of dealing with problems that arise that we didn't know existed. Maintenance, a crazy amount of maintenance. Dirty jobs, well with animals around you can't avoid dirty jobs. But also the freedom to do things whenever you want and be debt free and grow your own food and have a magic little place in nature that you call home. So join me on this episode where I go about my day. Luke upgrades the bedroom of the little piggies and and Mark, our friend who's visiting, works on something that we will be using for our outdoor kitchen project. Oh, and I almost forgot, news on something that has been a thorn in our side for way too long now. And it is also one of our most expensive mistakes. Have you guessed yet? Or are you curious? Then keep watching. Hi, and welcome to our channel. Thank you for joining us once again. And today I'm going to start with a gross job of cleaning the feed tubs, I guess, of the chickens. Now I keep them in the chicken coop, hence the reason why they're so gross. Mainly I used to keep them in there because of the sun. But because it's not so hot anymore, I decided let me keep them out here. What better way to start the day than cleaning poo off a bunch of containers, right? Last week our friend Mark came and if you watched last week's episode, uh, the special episode on Saturday, he came to help us find our neighbours well, which is an awesome video if you want to watch that. And he also helped us here on our farm and while he was debarking a bunch of logs for our outdoor kitchen, Luke was making something cosier for our little piglets. Hello, Maggie. Hello. I have no treats. I just came to fix your house. So you're a bit more comfy. And so the straw doesn't come out. We have to put a ledge over here. Hey, Peppa. Hi. If you're scared of the chainsaw. Yep, they sure are. <laughs>
making your place nicer. Making your place nicer. Hey, you've been playing like crazy, you two, hey? Go on, have fun, kids. They took the top that covers their food. Look at them. Give it to me, you guys. And leave my cloth alone. It's a bit cozier. Just need to help them with a bit of a step up, eh? I think he'll be able to get up there. That's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Thank you very much. What am I doing in your house? What am I doing in your house, Peppa? Oh, I'm gonna make it nice for you. You're not going to like this noise.
Do I dare show you my morning song? Where's mommy? Daisy? Daisy, come. Daisy. <laughs> Hi. Boo. <laughs> Good morning, Daisy. Good morning, beautiful baby. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning, Susie, baby. Look at her beard. It's starting to grow. Look at this little beard. <laughs> Susie, you're going to be beautiful, little beard. So cute, right? And you like your good mornings. You like your good mornings, guys. Right? It is wonderful, delicious acorn season. Not for me, for the goats though. And they are absolutely loving it. I'm losing them a bunch of times on the walk. But they're losing them, but they kind of don't want to move till they finish what they find underneath a tree. And there are some trees that give so many. I just try and run there before them. I always have a bag in my bag and I try and get to them before they do because there's just so many and to eat so many acorns is not very good. But those acorns I've been saving, I've been putting them in the sun every day and they've been going from green to brown. And I did it for the pigs because I read that it's not good to give the little piglets green acorns. I don't know if it's true. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments below. But the goats have been eating them. There's no way of stopping them. There's acorns all over the land. And my reasoning is once they're falling from the tree, they're ready to eat. I don't know, let me know what you think. But for the girls, because they're still piglets, I didn't want to give them to them green because of what I read. So last week I had the first brown ones and I tried giving them to the girls at snack time and they both munched them and at the same time they went bleh <laughs> and spat them out. Now pigs are supposed to really love acorns. So I'm gonna try again today. This is another week of getting brown and more dry. So maybe they'll like them more. So we'll see how that goes. I'll show you a bit later on in the video. Meadbo's getting his winter coat too. And it's looking beautiful, eh, Meadbo? The only thing is that when you brush Meadbo and his winter coat, he has a lot of fluffy stuff. Yeah, Meadbo. Oh my goodness, about time too, young lady. About time too. Come from here. Come this way. <laughs> good morning, Molly. Good morning, Molly. <laughs> You slept really late. You slept really late, you and Daddy. Eh? You're a lazy. You're a lazy girl. <laughs> okay, Molly, you want to go and do your morning poo and then come back and talk to me? You want? Go. Meatball. Meatball. Okay, your time is up at the spa. Meatball. Meatball. <gasps> Where's Susie? Oh my goodness, Susie and Daisy are there, Meepo, come. Come, let's go. Your time is up at the spa. It's time for Molly time. Come. Meepo, come. Molly, you want to thank, to thank the people who gave us things you want? Why don't you go and get your bow tie so you can wear your bow tie? Oh my goodness, Molly is beautiful, your bow tie. That's Molly's bow tie, Meepo, come. It's okay, it's okay. Meepo, I can't keep you away for five minutes. Wow, Molly, you're beautiful. Me and Molly would like to take a minute to thank everyone who sent us some lovely things, donations and presents. Molly, do you want to say thank you for all the presents that we got? Come and sit down. She wants it, she wants it. Turn around, face the camera. Sit down. Look at the camera. Where's the camera? Oh, I guess the camera. That's the other camera. What about the other camera up there? Okay, okay, clever girl, come here. Okay, sit down. Who do we have to thank for these lovely treats? Helena, thank you so much for the treats. Thank you so much for Luke's socks. And Sabrina's gift, I'm going to give it to her today or tomorrow. 
Molly loves that you went on her Amazon wish list and chose these awesome treats because she loves them and you had never tasted them before, eh, Molly? You never did. And I also would like to thank Lana, Sea Hag something, and Market Ag. I actually had your names written down on the piece of paper, but me more just at it. Molly, tell me, do you appreciate these presents? <laughs> wow! We would also like to thank our friend Mark, eh, Molly? She says thank you for all the love you gave her and she does miss you a lot. And thank you for all the work you did and for showing me some awesome shortcuts to edit. Hey, Molly, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. We are going to head up and I'm going to leave you with Luke because he is on the roof of the gypsy caravan. Let's find out what he's doing. I'm just waterproofing the roof of the, the gypsy caravan. It's basically where the seams are. We've got two small leaks, but once I'm going up, it's been two years since I did it last. So I'm gonna just do all the joins. Might as well, once I'm up there. I started this new routine for the girls because they're not eating enough grass. They've dug up all the inside of their enclosure and now before I take the goats out, I get them out and they're ready and they just roam around as free as the little piggies can be. Come on girls, go, go, go Papa, go, grab the camera. Papa, do you want this? You want an acorn? Maggie, Maggie, would you like an acorn? No? You want an acorn? <laughs> I don't know, they're supposed to love acorns and they don't care. Did she just put it out? Molly, Molly, do you want to kiss a piggy? Kiss her. Clever girl. Okay, kiss Maggie again. Clever girl. And then kiss her again. One more time. One more kiss. Kiss. 
<laughs> You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Now kiss mommy. <laughs> now kiss Maggie. I really thought they were going to go nuts about these acorns, but they're not too bothered. They prefer the grass. So that's good because I really didn't pick that many <laughs> this year. I thought I was going to come with, with sacks of them, but I think the wild boar are beating everyone to it. I know you want to go walkies, eh? I know you do. But um, I need to tell them one more thing, okay? Now that the roof of the gypsy caravan is waterproof, I think we are set for the rains, which are going to start, I think, in around four days' time. And now I'm going to pass you over to Luke because we've got some exciting news to share with you guys. Yesterday, my engine for the digger got delivered, finally. Uh, I did have a look and I can see where they've patched the block and put the liners in, taken out the old ones and also the, the crank has been fixed. I've got it in the back of the car. I didn't drive down all the way to where I normally park on our land just because of this last hill, which is a bit of a mess and I need my digger to fix it. <laughs> Catch 22. Okay. This is the last of it. Here I've got a gasket kit, full gasket kit. Just want to make sure it doesn't bend. A book which will come in handy, I'm guessing. And here are most of the parts that I ordered. I've got a new starter, three pistons, rust washer, bushes, and this is, these are for the pistons, the washers and stuff for the piston, one of the bolts, which we had to cut. Then we have the new Conrad, second hand from China, the only one from China. And then main bearings. Here they are. Hopefully I have everything. And now I'm gonna head on to the person that's gonna put this all together, hopefully. And some of you might know him. So tune in next week to find out who this guardian angel is. <laughs> Looks good enough. Everything is in. Hopefully it comes back in one piece. <laughs> I'm off. Okay. This is exciting. <laughs> well, it's exciting. You stay here with the mummy. I'm going. Okay. This is super exciting. <laughs> and it's also our 24 year anniversary today. Well, not today, not today but when. This week. This week. Not when you guys are watching it, but today, today. <laughs> okay. And also. This week too, not yet, but Luke has an operation, yeah. a small one. Yeah. So. And I have to get a COVID test because I need to go into the hospital. Um, I was hoping to get away with not ever having a test because I'm a little puss. I think he's more worried about the... <laughs> it looks gross right up the nose. The COVID it's test. It's been like a year and a half or whatever and I managed not to, to do it, you know. But... but guys, tell him there's nothing to it. I'm going under the knife! <laughs> You're such a... I a big... my mummy! <laughs> You're such a big baby. Anyway, this is super exciting. I am excited for where Luke is going now. So if you want to yeah. see what's going on after this, make sure you watch... Join us next week. Next week's video. Bye Molly, I'm off. Hopefully I get up the hill because look how weighted it oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see bye guys that's it from us thanks for watching and have an awesome week ahead ciao, and if ciao. you want to watch something else why not go and watch this one next <laughs>